Hey everybody, it's Aaron here, and today based on the request that I've received from you guys, we're going to be drawing Sonic the Hedgehog, one of our favorite video game characters, the famous speedy fast blue hedgehog. And as always, if you have any other characters that you'd like me to draw, let me know in the comments below. Let's go! Alright, so as we start on Sonic, as usual we're going to draw a circle shape and then we're going to add some spikes. Now I will say that the spikes were probably the trickiest thing for me because I really don't draw Sonic that often and uh, it took a little bit of uh, messing around with it to get it right but once you get the shape right it should be good to go and then we just add some triangle shapes for the ears and the eyes which are actually technically one eyeball almost the way that it works um, it's an interesting shape, and then you just add some pupils in, and of course the nose and the smile. And here you can see, I just had to erase a few lines to just try to get that uh, curvature of the spikes to look correct. And just fixing up the ears a little bit. It's really fun taking requests like this because a lot of times you guys pick characters that maybe I wouldn't typically pick to draw. And so it really helps me to practice uh, my drawing skills and it's just really fun to tackle different characters and get to know them better by drawing them And of course we've got to draw Sonic's hand here with his signature pointing pose and as you can see I just started off with another circular shape and just added the fingers in Hands can often be a bit tricky to draw so if you just block out what you're doing first It should make things a little bit easier now that I've finished my drawing, I'm just going to go over it with a pen, and once we finish, we'll pop it into paint.net and add some color. Alright, let's add some color to Sonic. So, what I'm going to do, uh, as I talked about in the last video, I just like to take the paintbrush tool and go around the outer edge to create the, the basic shapes and then just fill them in. And I use different layers for different objects so that I can go and move them around and tweak them as much as I need to without messing up the shape underneath it. So it makes it a lot easier to work with. And it makes it easier if you need to do some particular shading tricks later. So now we're adding in some shadows and I just block it out kind of roughly first with the paintbrush and then add some blur and sometimes even change the transparency levels of the layer to make the shadow look just right. This is a really great way to bring the drawing to life and create the illusion of light and shadows. Then I just do a little bit of cleaning up, add in a background, and I think we're good to go. I'm Sonic! Sonic the Hedgehog! Thank you for joining me today as we drew Sonic the Hedgehog. And again, if you have any other characters that you'd like me to draw, let me know in the comments below. I'd like to thank all of my patrons for helping make this video possible. You can check the link down below if you want to check out how you can support the channel. And next time, we're going to be drawing Golden Freddy, another fan request. I hope you have a great rest of your week, and I'll see you in the next video.